Okay, so I used the Glossier stuff today. Uh, this is so good. I used it last night and I put it on today. It is very hydrating, very moisturizing. I don't know if it's going to, you know, treat any kind of concerns, but it is absolutely hydrating and therefore will plump and kind of, I was gonna say puff up, <laughs> puff up your eyes in a good way. So I really like this. One pump, that's all you need for both eyes and it was even like more than I necessarily needed. And then I tapped the excess on my lips. I don't know that as a lip treatment, it really does anything, but it's excellent for the eyes. Okay, so then I put the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion on today, which, you know, very hydrating. We love this very much. <laughs> Sumo's drinking. Do you guys hear it? Um, <laughs> so I followed the instructions for the Glossier Future Do, and it says to apply it after all of your other skincare. So I did that, and I thought it would be like too much. And it could feel like too much. Like your skin will be very shiny. <laughs> But I like, before putting my makeup on, I just kind of used my, like the palms of my hands and pressed everything in. And I did not feel like I was greasier or more oily than I normally would be. So this is like really nice. I'm curious to try this by itself. Okay, so bit, bit of a hot mess this morning. You know when you have those mornings where you're sneezing like uncontrollably? Yeah, we're having that. Um, it's like, you know, in the morning I wake up, I'll put like a robe on and slippers. I did not put slippers on. I'm just like, oh, I'm fine. It's not cold. And then now, now I can't breathe through my nose. But makeup today, uh, I like it. It's very pretty. I played with a Tom Ford quad today and we did some mixing with the base products. Uh... Yeah, let me show you. Okay, oh, oh god. That is an, a bad angle. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the eye makeup in this lighting because, oh, you can see. You can see the sparkles, like, oh, it's so good. Okay, so today's base is the Claire's Illuminating Supple Blemish Cream. And I wore it once, I think, for you guys, and I mentioned it was just a hair light. Um, like, I could still wear, like, bronzer and powder and like, kind of get away with it, but I mixed in a drop of this Indeed Nano Bronze. This is so good. If you are someone that has considered the Drunk Elephant de Bronzy and you're like, I cannot drop that kind of change. This, so good. I feel like it might even be better in the sense that it's a little more liquidy. Like it feels, it feels more gel to me. Okay, so eyeshadow today, I only used this caramel shade from the Tweed palette from Victoria Beckham. And I used three shades from this Tom Ford Photosynthesex. I used everything except for this one. So I put this in the crease and then I put this in the outer V and I framed almost my entire eye with this. I put this on the lid and I tap this sparkle all over the entire eye and I am just like about it, like mm. Uh, then we used Victoria Beckham Cajols. We have the brown or cocoa and burgundy. I put one on the top waterline and one on the lower waterline and you know, blink real hard and you know, mixed, mixed color that I really like. Then we have the Burberry Cat Eye Liner and ColourPop BFF Liner in the shade Try Me, which is a red. And I don't know if it really shows in the look today, but I did put it on. Okay, so for complexion, we have the darker side of the Shoei Bronzer, the Elf Blush, which I'll link, I think it's Bahamas, the Decorte Powder, and then the two concealers from Elf. I'm really enjoying these. I wish they had just a hint more coverage, but I mean, I'll sacrifice that for it looking so good on the under eyes. I like double layer this and it still looks quite good and I'm still playing with this down the center of the nose. I think it does a really good job of mimicking the Rodeal Banana Low Lighter. Okay, so the eyeshadows are on top. Love, just loved it. And then there's the two eyeliners on the left, the two liquid liners on the right, the bronzer and the blush. And then the lip product I didn't mention, but it's the lip cushion in Magic Hour from M Cosmetics and the same, the liner Teddy from the same brand. Okay, so this is seven hours later. I reapplied the lip, but all the makeup, like still on so well. The decorte powder really just holds everything in place. I also ran that through my brows today and I think, well, there's a little bit of shine, but not horrible. 
and you can still see the blush so the elf blush has really good staying power also I wanted to mention because it's like the putty blush which is supposed to be part of their like putty line which is you know like pore filling etc it really looks good on the skin because I don't know just because because that formula I have always just kind of been against blush because I just felt like it added more like texture to the skin but this one I mean generally cream blushes do a better job anyway but some of them dry down and you still might get that texture but this one it's just doing like a really really nice job it makes the skin look really nice so I, I am into it okay guys so I am very 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 excited to share these things with you okay so uh, first of all, I will share, let's see, should I share what I got for me or what Andrew got for me, right? We guys, we love hearing about Andrew, yeah? Okay, so maybe we'll do, hmm, maybe we'll do what Andrew got me. Okay, so uh, this appeared at my doorstep and it was very exciting. So we're going to talk about candles. This is the Jonathan Adler Hashish candle. Look at this. It's like Moroccan dreams. Okay. Uh, so when you see this candle, I mean, if you are familiar, then whatever. But if you haven't seen this before, you are in for a treat. Can this be more beautiful? Like truly, have you seen a more beautiful candle jar? And there's a lid. The lid is also clearly stunning. Okay, so you have a double wick candle in here. This scent is... Okay, you have to like this scent. It's like a little heady, like, you know, it's hashish, yeah? It's like, when he sent it to me, obviously I texted him to thank him and everything. And how did, he's like, I hope, you know, the scents are, or like, the notes are up your alley. And I texted him back, and I can't remember how I described it, but in the moment, it was like, it felt very correct to me. I said... Cozy, relaxing, heady, high adjacent millionaire. Yes, yeah, so it smells expensive. Okay, I'm gonna read the notes to you in case you need to know. It's a soy candle, so it says, earthy but couture. The scandalous scent is a tempting taboo to inhale. Oh my God, who wrote that? That's like so good. All right, so black currant, green apple, wormwood, patchouli, and moss. So this, I don't really have, well, do I? If you have the Malin and Getz, cannabis candle very not similar that one smells more nature more tree more more tree more more grassy this one is more a thick smoke like a thick cloud of expensive smoke yes anyway i love it andrew i love it thank you so much and for you guys like if you want a gift if you want a gift or you want to give a gift this so I hate this lighting, why isn't it you guys? Anyway, yes, highly recommend this beautiful, stunning candle. Like, just, and even if you don't light it, I haven't even lit it yet, it fills your room. Like, I just have it sitting on my coffee table and I can smell it almost to the point where I might have to cover it up and be like, all right, that's enough. Um, it really depends on your preferences, so. Uh, I may or may not have just kind of carried this from room to room with me the weekend that like I got it because, you know, it reminds me of Andrew and I really like the smell. It, it's like very like, it's really great for winter, but I am like an all seasonal person. If I like a scent, I like want it all year round. I'm not someone that's like, this is only for winter. Well, I mean, I guess smoky scents are, okay, rambling. So coincidentally, I also picked up a candle for myself in the same time frame, and it is in fact a candle that I had actually purchased for Andrew prior, I don't know how many years ago it was, but we were both really into this scent. It's the Replica by the Fireplace candle. So I got mine finally, finally, finally. It was on Selfridges, there was like two left. I had been waiting for it to come in stock at Sephora so I can use like the 20% off, but that never happened. Anyway, Selfridges, if you shop from them, um, they always send everything in like these nice bags. I love them. I keep all of them, even if I like make a return. <laughs> They're so good. Okay, so this is the replica by the fireplace candle. I removed the plastic from this and it is strong. Like it smells like, not necessarily like something's burning. Andrew, let me know. Like I also got his from Selfridges a couple years ago. 
and when I read the reviews that are like, oh, this has no scent, there's no any, I'm like, how are you like, what is the word? Do you have like no sense of smell? Is there a word for no sense of smell? Because this, I can smell this all the time. <laughs> it is very, very smoky. So I'm a little worried that I won't get kind of like that sweetness that is here, like that kind of vanilla wood versus just the smokiness of it because the perfume, it settles. There's like a balance, like it smells kind of wood sweet, like a sweet vanilla-y, I don't wanna say vanilla because I don't think it's vanilla, but like, like a creamy, sweet, smoky scent. Whereas this, without burning it yet, is just smoky, so. I mean, I don't know. I don't mind this scent. I, I love like a smoky scent, but it's like bordering on, on like a burn. I don't know. Anyway, whew. Okay, so I don't know. I'm just very happy to have both of these. Yay. I feel like my, my mini, my Vlogmas vlogs, like my normal vlogs are all ending very abruptly. And I always realize this when I'm editing and I'm like, why don't you close out your vlogs? But maybe this will just be a very awkward signature that I have in all my videos where it just like ends abruptly and I don't say bye. And I just don't know guys, the, the, the nature of vlogging, it's very like, I don't know if this is going to be the last clip unless I just start saying bye in like every single clip. Is that something I should be doing? We could try that. Bye guys.